Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about all Madden games for the Sony PlayStation 2. Madden 2001, beside the enhanced graphics it brings on the PS2 compared to the PS1, it also brings the same solid experience Madden had for years. The momentum physics are the star in the game, this physics engine makes the game feel more realistic. What they do is that for example if you run at top speed you won't be able to take sharp turns, just like in real life. But one aspect that they try to make, make more realistic and well they shouldn't have is that you can pass the ball only at the players your player looks at. And the AI follows its path like a robot. Which makes passing difficult, as it's difficult to face your teammate. As he runs like a robot on the path he was programmed, it's difficult and the AI has imperfections everywhere. But don't worry, they will fix the issue in the future. The game is still solid and is, in spite the flaws in AI, the animations and graphics make the game feel lifelike. There are so many different animations and slap a good physics system on top of the good gameplay and you get a believable experience. And the many game modes the game offers make it an amazing experience. Madden 2002 shows that even in 2002 the Madden franchise was solid. As game modes you get exhibition, season, franchise, tourney, custom league, practice and situation. You also get the option to create your own player and you get the general manager options that allow you to do stuff like transfers, create your own team including uniforms and even your own team's stadium. And the create a player option is very deep. You get different faces, you can even choose the shoe size of your player and the height and weight you choose for your player can be noticed during gameplay. A big Jabba the Hutt can run down weak defenders like George runs over people at the children party. In Madden 2003, they turned the momentum setting a little bit down, so in this game you can take sharp turns easier. It's still there, but it feels slightly easier to take turns. You get a new mode, Football 101, where John Madden explains the sport and gives advices, aside the practice mode from last year. Now you get another, more dense one, the minicamp mode, where you play training minigames and you can create your own playbook. In gameplay, some players have signature moves, meaning that they have been specially animated to act more like their real-life counterpart. The passing system has been refined, allowing you for example to hold the button for a long pass and pinching the button for a short pass. Madden 2004 is one of the best reviewed Madden games of all time. Best football video game ever done in the history of video games. I'll beat that, man. I How think, can you possibly beat I think that? this is the best sports game ever made. I don't think there's been a better, you did beat that. more authoritative, more detailed, more refined sports game ever designed. This is fabulous stuff. And the game is a big jump in the right direction. First off, the gameplay has been made better by the playmaker controls. Players can adjust plays on the run. For example, after the ball's been snapped, you can direct teammates on the field to block opposing players in front of the ball carrier by pressing the right analog stick in the appropriate direction. And this will make the game harder for you, as you can't cheat anymore by choosing the same lucky play that you've been noticing that it works every time. Now that the AI adapts on the spot, it will put a little more challenge into the game. In presentation, the way the camera behaves is better, and the owner mode has been significantly updated. You can even set prices for hot dogs and foam fingers. You can sell foam fingers for $700 a piece. And you can choose for example 100 bucks for the parking fee. And the owner mode is optional. You can turn it off if you want. But having so many options and even an advisor that tells you how your team's finances are and what you should do. It is fun to play the game with the mode turned on. Madden NFL 2005 brings improvements in the defensive AI and introduces hot routes. While running you can zoom out a little and your passing options are highlighted and each possible passing route is assigned to a button. Another addition in the game is the hit stick. What it does is that you move the joystick in a certain direction when you are near a ball carrier and you jump on him to pin him down. 
There is a new mode in the game called Storyline Central, where the game invents stories in an attempt to mimic the media surrounding a season, there are new training minigames, and a create a fan mode. And your created fans show up in the cutscenes waving at the camera when you play. Also if you own a PS2, then you have to get the collector's edition on PS2. That version lets you play older Madden games, inside the Madden 2005 game, which is cool. Madden NFL 2006 changed the passing system with this and the bad part about it is that if the player's vision cone isn't directed at the player you want to pass the ball, then the pass will fail. There is a new mode, the superstar mode, where you create your own rookie player and play with him a lengthy career. In Rust it has the same game modes as before and there are slight changes in presentation but they don't affect the gameplay nor add something to the experience. Madden NFL 2007 introduces the highlight stick, a new kick meter and lead blocking controls. The highlight stick is a new version of the truck stick used for runners on offense. You can use it to pull off many sorts of jukes. The lead blocking controls let you switch players when you are defending. Like this you can take the defense in your, in your own hands, not on the CPU as usual. The superstar mode is back and it gives you more options and the franchise mode also lets you scout rookies. The graphics have halted meaning that in this year they didn't improve them anymore. This is the maximum the console has to offer in terms of graphics in NFL. Madden NFL 2008 got praised to be the last great Madden game. While this statement is not fully true, in my opinion, because we had lots of great Madden games following 2008, part of the statement is true that Madden 2008 is really great and that for a time it really was the last great Madden game. It puts everything it had to offer till now to die like a hero on the older generation consoles. It has everything. Even the detailed managerial options like pricing 700 bucks for a foam finger. The franchise mode is one of the best in the series. And overall, there are so many little details and nice touches. It's undoubtedly the best Madden game of the generation. From the rich content it has to offer to even stuff like that those little details, for example if you are being hit hard enough the helmet jumps off the player, or you see players limping if they are injured. There are no bugs nor glitches in Madden 2008 and the game is like a love letter at departure. It's the best NFL experience the console can handle. This is not just a game, it's art, pushing consoles to, to their limits in what football games are concerned and they more than nailed it. Also the game has additions too, for example you can use weapons, meaning that some players have some power-ups. But the game is still balanced, even if, you, even if your players have power-ups, because the opposing team has players with power-ups too, which makes the power-ups nullify themselves. You can use cards to boost some players, or you can use cheat cards to for example, bend the wind when the opposing team kicks the ball. Madden NFL 2008 is to date the best Madden game released. In Madden 2009 they added more quarterback moves. Now players can use more jokes to get away with the ball and you also get the ability to direct the receiver by clicking the R3 button. They also introduced Family Play, the game mode that simplifies the game, reducing the gameplay to as low as just pressing some buttons. You can play matches by pressing just some buttons, it's very simplified. That's about all I found out. In Rust there are some stylistic changes, but overall the experience is the same as last year. It's not really that different to Madden 2008 and since that game was a masterpiece you can imagine that this one is solid, it's solid too and it's also good. 
In Madden 2010, they added the ability to customize the right analog stick. You can assign up to 8 moves to every direction on the stick for both offense and defense. They added the feature Fight for the Fumble, which was ported from the Xbox and PS3 version. It's not as good looking when you see them fight for the ball on PS2, but it's fun too. There's now also an impact cam that causes your viewing angle to shake when the crowd gets loud or if someone lands a big hit. There's also a new momentum mechanic that shows you when players are on hot or cold streaks. Madden 11 adds the game flow feature, which if you activate the option, your coach will choose the best play for you. That way you have the option of not looking at hundreds of plays before starting. In rest the game is pretty much the same, but considering that it has Madden 2008 in its core, it's solid. But if you already have 2008, there's no reason to buy this one. Madden 12 feels rushed, the rosters look like copy paste, the gameplay feels sloppy, the stats of the players are completely wrong, the game was most probably made just to milk some more money. It feels rushed, it has incredibly awful inaccuracies, you even have the option to import from NCAA 12 for PS2, a game that was never released. They just copy-pasted the game from 2011 and forgot to edit what is new and what is different. Just, just don't play this game, it's, it's not worth your time. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, click the join button and choose one of the perks. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord, I've left the links to those in the video description. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching!